Johann Joseph von Gores, the 25th of January 1776 to the 29th of January 1848, was a German writer, philosopher, theologian, historian, and journalist. Topic: Early life. Gores was born at Koblenz. His father was moderately well off, and sent his son to a Latin college under the direction of the Roman Catholic clergy. The young Gora's sympathies were initially with the French Revolution, and the French exiles in the Rhineland confirmed his beliefs, which would then evolve over time. He harangued the revolutionary clubs, and insisted on the unity of interests which would ally all civilized states to one another. He began a republican journal called Das Rote Blatt, and afterwards Rubezel, in which he strongly condemned the administration of the Rhenish provinces by France. After the Treaty of Campo Formio 1797, there was hope that the Rhenish provinces would be constituted into an independent republic. In 1799 the provinces sent an embassy, of which Gores was a member, to Paris to put their case before the Directory. The embassy reached Paris on 20 November 1799, two days before this Napoleon had assumed power. After much delay he received the embassy, but the only answer they obtained was that they might rely on perfect justice, and that the French government would never lose sight of their wants." Goras on his return published a tract called Resultate minor sendung nach Paris, in which he reviewed the history of the French Revolution. During the thirteen years of Napoleon's dominion Goras lived a quiet life, devoting himself chiefly to art or science. In 1801, he married Catherine de la Salx, and for some years taught at a secondary school in Koblenz. In 1806, he moved to Heidelberg, where he lectured at the university. British lawyer and diarist Henry Crabbe Robinson met Goras during this time. A quote from his diary Goras has the wildest physiognomy, looks like an overgrown old student. A fawn like nose and lips, fierce eyes, and locks as wild as Caliban's. Strong sense, with a sort of sulky indifference toward others, are the characteristics of his manner. Clemens Brentano compared his appearance to that of an old lion shaking and pulling his mane caught in the bars of his cage. As a leading member of the Heidelberg Romantic group, he edited together with Brentano and Ludwig Achim von Arnhem the Zeitung für Einsiedler subsequently renamed Trost Ein Samkate, and in 1807 he published Die Deutschen Volksbücher literally, the books of the German people. He returned to Koblenz in 1808, and again found occupation as a teacher in a secondary school, supported by civic funds. He now studied Persian, and in two years published a Mythengeschichte der Asiatischen Welt History of the Myths of the Asiatic World, which was followed ten years later by Das Heldinbuch von Iran The Book of Heroes of Iran, a translation of part of the Shahnama, the Epic of Ferdisi. Topic. Editor of the Merkur In 1813 he again took up the cause of national independence, and in the following year founded Der Rheinische Merkur. The outspokenness of its hostility to Napoleon made it influential, and Napoleon himself called it La Cinquième Puissance the fifth power. It campaigned for a united Germany, with a representative government, but under an emperor, Goras having abandoned his earlier advocacy of republicanism. When Napoleon was at Elba, Goras wrote an ironic imaginary proclamation issued by him to the people. He criticized the Second Peace of Paris 1815, declaring that Alsace and Lorraine should have been demanded back from France. Stein used the Merkur at the time of the meeting of the Congress of Vienna to give expression to his hopes. But Hardenberg, in May 1815, warned Goras to remember that he was not to arouse hostility against France, but only against Napoleon. There was also in the Merkur an antipathy to Prussia, expression of the desire that an Austrian prince should assume the imperial title, and also a tendency to liberalism—all distasteful to Hardenberg, and to his master Friedrich Wilhelm III. Goras disregarded warnings sent to him by the censorship, so that the Merkur was suppressed early in 1816, at the instance of the Prussian government, and soon after Goras was dismissed from his teaching post. Death. He died 29 January 1848, the year of the fall of Metternich, and was buried in the Alter Südfriedhof in Munich. Works He supported himself by his pen, and he became a political pamphleteer. 
In the excitement which followed Kotzebue's assassination, the reactionary decrees of Karlsbad were framed, and these were the subject of Gora's pamphlet Teutschland und die Revolution Germany and the Revolution, 1820. In this work he reviewed the circumstances which had led to the murder of August von Kotzebue, and, while expressing horror at the deed itself, he urged that it was impossible and undesirable to repress the free utterance of public opinion. The success of the work was marked, despite a ponderous style. It was suppressed by the Prussian government, and orders were issued for the arrest of Goras and the seizure of his papers. He escaped to Strasbourg, and thence went to Switzerland. Two more political tracts were Europa und die Revolution Europe and the Revolution, 1821 and in Sachsen der Rheinprovinzen und in Eigener Angelegenheit in the matter of the Rhine province and in a matter of my own, 1822. In the former Goras describes the moral, intellectual and political corruption of France in the course of the 18th century as the major cause which led to the revolution. The book was read with avidity throughout Germany, in Gora's pamphlet Die Heilige Allianz und die Volker auf dem Congress zu Verona the Holy Alliance and the peoples represented at the Congress of Verona he asserted that the princes had met together to crush the liberties of the people, and that the people must look elsewhere for help. The elsewhere was to Rome, and from this time Goras became an ultramontane writer. He was summoned to Munich by King Ludwig of Bavaria as professor of history in the university, and there his writing enjoyed popularity. His Chrysalische Mystik on Christian Mysticism, 1836-1842 gave a series of biographies of the saints, together with an exposition of Roman Catholic mysticism. But his most celebrated ultramontane work was a polemical one. Its occasion was the deposition and imprisonment by the Prussian government of the Archbishop Clement Wenceslaus reportedly due to his refusal to sanction in certain instances the marriages of Protestants and Roman Catholics. Goras, in his Athanasius 1837, upheld the power of the Church, although liberals of later claimed he never insisted on the absolute supremacy of Rome. Athanasius went through several editions, and initiated a long and bitter controversy. In the Historisch Politisch Blatter, historical political pages, a Munich journal, Goras and his son Guido 1805 continued to uphold the claims of the Church. On New Year's Day of 1839, Goras received the Civil Order of Merit from the King for his services. Goras studied mysticism while in Strasbourg. He went into the mystical writers of the Middle Ages such as Maria of Agreda as well as observing, partly in person, the ecstatic young women of his time Maria von Morel, and others, and strove to comprehend more thoroughly the nature of Christian mysticism. These studies led to his work Die Chrysalische Mystik 4 vols, 1836-42, 2nd ed., 5 vols, 1879. Topic. Publications. Der Allgemeine Frieden, ein Ideal Aphorismen über Kunst 1802. Glauben und Wissen 1805. Die Teutschen Volksbücher 1807. Schriftproben von Peter Hammer 1808. Über den Fall Teutschlands und die Bedingungen seiner Wiedergebert 1810. Meithingeschichten der Asiatischen Welt 1810. Lohengrin, ein Altuches Gedicht 1813. Rheinischer Merker 1814 to 1816. Deutschland und die Revolution 1819. Beantworting der in den Jetzigen Zeiten für jeden Deutschen besonders wichtigen Frage, was haben wir zu erwarten 1814. Europa und die Revolution 1821. Verdusi 1822. Einleitung zu Melchior Diepenbrock's Heinrich Sussos, Genant Amandis Leben und Schriften 1829. Über die Grundlage, Gliedering und Zeitenfolge der Weltgeschichte 1830. Nachrauf Achim von Arnhem 1831. Wir Senschreiben und Herrn Kullmann, Sekretar der Standoversammlung 1831. Ministerium, Staatsseitung, Recht und Unrecht Midi 1831. Athanasius 1837. Die Trierier H. Leo, Dr. P. Marheinek, D. K. Bruno 1838. Die Chrysalische Mystik 1836-1842. Kirch und Stadt Nach Ablauf der Kölner Ehring 1842. Der Dom von Köln und das Münster von Strasbourg 1842. Introduction to Das Leben Christi, by J. N. Sepp 1843. 
Die Jafatheden und Ihre Gemeinsame Heimat Armenien. Akademisch Festried 1844. Die drei Grundwurzeln des Celtischen Stamms und Ihre Einwanderung 1845. Die Wallfahrt Nach Trier 1845. Aspekten und der Zeitenwende, Zoom Neuen Jahre 1848 1848. Topic. Works in English translation Germany and the Revolution. London, Longman, Hearst, Rees, Orm, and Brown, 1820. Topic. Influences Carl Jung mentions reading Goras as a young man in his autobiography, Memories, Dreams, Reflections Pantheon Books, 1963, p. 99. ISBN 0-679-72395-1. The Goras Society was founded on 25 January 1876 in honor of Goras to advance Roman Catholic studies. See also Guido Goras References This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Johann Peter Kirsch 1913, Johann Joseph Goras, in Herbermann, Charles. Catholic Encyclopedia. New York, Robert Appleton. This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Chisholm, Hugh, ed., 1911, Goras, Johann Joseph von. Encyclopedia Britannica, 11th ed. Cambridge University Press. Topic. Further reading Berger, Martin 1921. Gora's ALS Politischer Publicist. Bonn und Leipzig, K. Schroeder. Coker, F. W. 1910. The Organismic Analogies of Gora's. In, Organismic Theories of the State. Columbia University Press, pp. 44-47. Dickerhoff, Harold 1999. Gora's Studien. Paderborn, Schoening. Hovel, John Vonden. 2001. A German Life in the Age of Revolution, Joseph Goras, 1776 1848, Catholic University of America Press. Menzel, Wolfgang. 1840. German Literature, Vol. 2, Vol. 3. Boston, Hilliard, Gray and Company. Munster, Hans A. 1926. Die Fendliche Meinung in Johann Joseph Gora's Politischer Publicistik. Berlin, Staatspolitischer Verlag. Robb, Ari Bert. Joseph Gora's, Ein Leben für Freiheit und Recht. Paderborn, Schoening. External links Biography of Joseph Gora's, German and English. Encyclopædia Britannica, Joseph von Goras Works by or about Joseph Goras at Internet Archive Joseph Goras, Something to Sell, 1798 Newspaper clippings about Joseph Goras in the 20th-century press archives of the German National Library of Economics ZBW.